This is an old jumper that's got a neck that's really too tight. So what I'm going to do is take the neck off and make a wider neck. Now I can do it two ways. I can either cut the neck off now or I can just start by deciding on where the new neck is going to be. So what I do is just go along here. This is the shoulder top here. So I'm starting at the shoulder top and pick up stitches along here. So I'm going down a row every time. So I'm going into half a stitch using a spare thin needle. And I think I think I might let it go straight. Now I really just want it a bit wider, not necessarily much lower. Um, so I'll keep going down and you just sort of use your eye to do this. And this is how my mother did a lot of her jumpers. She never bothered to shape the neck. So this would be the new neck shape here. And I'm not going to pick up, but I'll sort these stitches out after. Um, and then I would go along the other side, the same place. So if I start here, this needle is a bit blunt pointed, so I'll go with this one. So I'm just going into half a stitch and each time I'm going the row above and to the left. And so I'm just slowly going to be reshaping this neck. This gets a bit easier to see because I know that it's the the light stitch along here. And this is up to the shoulder top. So that shape matches, I think, this shape. Now the back neck, I think I'm going to make that a bit lower. So this is the corresponding stitch at the back. So I'm going to go, hmm, difficult to see, I'm going to go along here, again the same way as I did at the front. I'm going one, one row down and one stitch to the left and Now I think I'll go straight across here. So it's just a case of picking up half a stitch along here. And then I'll go and do the, the other side to match. So that would be the shape for the back neck. So it's going to be a little bit lower than it was, but that's okay. And the shoulder has got a bit narrower. But again, that's fine. I'm just I'll forget about these in the middle because it just gets a bit awkward. But I'm just going to start in the same line as I am here. So it's this lot here. Just in a straight line. And then I'm just going to check where I start it, where I need to aim for. Um, I think I'm in a straight line for another two stitches. And then... I start to go up and again we're going one row up and one stitch to the left. So this is going to be the new neckline. like that so this would be the whole neck 
So it will be a bit bigger. So I'm just going to cut off this old neck um, and I'm just going to go along the bottom row and, and this can be tidied up afterwards. Um, it's kind of difficult doing it for the camera to see. I can't see both things at once. So that's the old neck gone. Um, and you can see that these stitches are, are quite safe. I've got, they're in a straight line, but I, because partly because they've been knitted a long time ago, they're quite secure and there's nothing... They've, they've felt it together a little bit. It's probably been washed quite a few times. Um, so the next stage is I'll start at this shoulder, that's the, the right shoulder, left shoulder rather, and just pick up and knit all the way around here. And that's the next stitches all picked up and ready to knit. And then the excess here, I'll just... Uh, slip stitch to the wrong side. I'll trim it back because this is a bit long so I'll probably trim it um, by about that much and then this will get slip stitched to the wrong side. This is the finished neck and you can see on the inside I've just tapped it down. I've trimmed all the edges and then slip stitched them to the wrong side so it's nice and neat and tidy.